My name is George Bai, and I am the founder and CEO of Bai Aerospace. We're developing the eFlyer 2, the eFlyer 4, and the eFlyer 800, which we just recently announced in the last two months or so. eFlyer 2 is a trainer, primary uh, training, eFlyer 4, an advanced trainer and utility airplane, air taxi and so forth. And then the eFlyer 800 off into the future, that's the turboprop equivalent aircraft, groundbreaking all three aircraft, disruptively beneficial in operating costs. Electric is the future. The eFlyer is a, is a normal category airplane, meaning under Part 23, Amendment 64, you can carry a full payload for business use or full training use. In other words, we're not limited in weight category. Under normal category certification, uh, we can carry a full payload, uh, higher speed, range. Uh, the airplane is fully FAA certified under a normal category criteria. So Amendment 64 to Part 23, E-Flyer 2 is a trainer, electric motor, 12 battery packs, and a full three hour flight time full utility as a trainer. E-Flyer 4 is a four-seater. More payload, more speed, more range, more endurance. Again, normal category, meaning no limitations for uh, the utility and business, uh, air taxi, air charter, part 91, even part 135, although usually part 135 is a little bit bigger airplane and that's where the E-Flyer 800 comes. And of course our launch customer is Jetit, uh, Glenn Gonzalez, Jet Club, great, great team, large fleet order of the E-Flyer 800 for that business air charter, air taxi use. Electric motors by nature are very energy or power dense. They turn electrons into torque to provide thrust. But as compared to a turbo generator, a PT6 turbo prop converts jet fuel into a high RPM, uh, which through a gearbox provides thrust. Jet fuel, uh, hot temperatures are created, uh, and that drives the turbine gearbox to thrust. Pretty efficient but not incredibly efficient. Electric motors are 95, 96% efficient in turning energy, electric energy, into torque and thrust. So on a turboprop category aircraft, and instead of two uh, five or six or 700 horsepower turboprops, I've got two electric motors, and those motors are tiny in comparison and much, much lighter in comparison to the uh, turboprops they're replacing. No gearbox, none of the uh, turbine section and the, and, the, and the jet fuel pumps and all the rest of it. It literally is a motor dimensionally uh, much smaller, much lighter, and much, much more efficient in turning energy into torque and into thrust. And of course, the balance to that is, instead of jet fuel, I'm gonna carry battery packs to hold the energy. So my trade is motor for turboprop engine and gearbox, battery packs for fuel. And the, it turns out most people like to compare just battery packs and fuel but that's not the whole equation. The whole equation is motor against gearbox and the turbo, turbo generating uh, mechanism. And the advantage is to the, is to the motor. I've got excess weight that I can trade. Then a high energy density battery pack makes up the energy storage. In combination, I have a technology that does not combust air with fuel. 
It's agnostic to, to altitude, to density altitude. Whereas something that combusts fuel with air reduces its horsepower as you climb. So um, I'm able to design an airplane, a turboprop equivalent. I don't have the same range, but I certainly have the same speed and altitude. And in fact, I don't lose thrust as I climb. So I'm able to design the airplane ideally around my cruise target altitude and speed. I'm not a compromise where I have to over design it at sea level like a turbo prop that loses energy as you climb. So the key um, for the eFlyer 800 is that trade of weight in propulsion, the trade of weight in fuel for batteries, but also the characteristics of electric at altitude. Our design ceiling for the eFlyer 800 is 35,000 feet, and there's no drop in horsepower at 35,000 feet. For a turboprop, they're running out of the ability uh, to create enough horsepower and thrust to fly at that altitude. Uh, that's really the edge of, of their capability, whereas eFlyer 800 is climbing right up there strong, no, no reduction in horsepower. So I fly faster, 320 knots true airspeed at 35,000 feet with the eFlyer 800. Game changer. At one-fifth the operating cost because I'm using electricity instead of buying jet fuel. So the eFlyer 2 is a, basically a $500,000 airplane. It takes a $5,000 deposit, $500,000 airplane, give or take, depending on the options. eFlyer 4 is a $10,000 deposit and it's a 600 maybe almost seven hundred thousand dollar airplane depending on the options you know uh, additional radios or, or interior or exterior uh, paint or wh whatever it might be eFlyer 2 certification is the end of next year 2022 early 2023 eFlyer 4 is about a year later. Again, um, eFlyer 4 is derived from the 2, it's an iteration, so the time frame for the 2 will affect the time frame for the 4. Now the 800 is uh, about a 4 year program, so that will be 2025 time frame. Again, derived, derived, and all of the technology in each system specific plan, certification plan, affects the timeline for the eFlyer 800. We have announced the Jetta Jet Club, Glenn Gonzalez, great fleet order, great friend, uh, great launch customer. Last week we announced Rhineland Air Service in Germany for another order of eFlyer 800s. Today we announced another 15 eFlyer 800s from Sky Aviation. The, the backlog is growing and we're delighted to take deposits. Uh, we have nearly 800 airplanes, 800 airplanes in our production backlog. So since we talked last two years ago, the, the, the enthusiasm for electric has really grown. So please come to our website, byaerospace.com, B-Y-E, aerospace.com. Uh, if you just Google by aerospace, or Google eFlyer, uh, your, your contact information will pop up.